I tried to warn you not to click on this video. So now let's go straight to the pit room where I gotta show you some nice, tasty, juicy barbecue. I'm here at the pit room. Yo, keep on watching. I'll give you my honest opinion, all right? My honest opinion, the best thing here was the turkey. The smoked turkey breast was amazing, man. However, the brisket is nice and fatty and the bark on that brisket carries a huge peppery flavor, but don't sleep on the turkey. Chicken is good too, man. They got two massive grills with all that Texas wood and it just smells like straight up Texas barbecue. They known for the beef ribs, but they ran out. So I'm gonna go to another spot to get some beef ribs. Pappas Barbecue, another spot known for the beef ribs. I already smell smoke. That's how you know this is legit. You smell like smoke and barbecue. Barbecue and smoke. And of course, everything is bigger in Texas. Everything is bigger in Texas, oh y'all. <laughs> Dang, that's a lot of ribs. We got, yeah, about six ribs. So you have a nice smoke ring right here. Then you have a nice bark. Look at that stickiness, that's that seasoning. Uh -huh. You can see it on both sides. And then it's like the glaze. Mm. And it's very tender. It's not tough like beef ribs can be. It's a little sweet. You can see the tear. You can just tear it off. Still with the craving of ribs, I'm gonna show you some black owned restaurants that have some good ribs, some good barbecue, and some good food overall. So we gonna transition into Gatling's Barbecue, which is a mom and pop barbecue joint. They throw down in there, man. And if you have somebody that looks like somebody's grandmother in the kitchen, you know the food is slamming. Massive plate. So I got myself some ribs, some chicken, and we got some brisket underneath with 30 rice mac and cheese and some barbecue wings, which I'm going to like demolish. This looks absolutely amazing. Moving along, we're going straight into the Turkey Leg Hut, man. I'm telling you, Turkey Leg Hut, known for their massive Texas-sized turkey legs. Even Kevin Hart was spotted dining here. They say my movie banging. We got a show tonight. I say, well, let's go ham. This is a spot that starts to pile up right before they open. So you definitely want to come to this spot right before 11 a.m. when it starts getting crowded. Once it gets to 11.01 a.m., you're already late. We got swamp fried smothered in some smoked turkey meat, a plethora of turkey legs, don't forget to try the corn. Thank me later. Thank me later. Moving on to the next spot, we're going to go into Taste Bar and Kitchen. Another black owned spot where I tried something very exquisite that I've never had before. Introducing the chicken fried cauliflower. Chicken fried cauliflower. Chicken fried cauliflower. That actually. Does it look like chicken? Oh. Yeah, it took like five minutes to come. That was very fast. Very fast. It smells good too. Yes, this is cauliflower baked in chicken batter. It's cauliflower, but it tastes like you're eating chicken. So vegetarians, eat your heart out. The lobster mac and cheese was slamming and the chicken and waffles was on point. But if you want to get some more chicken and waffles, I got a spot for you. Introducing the Breakfast Club. Club with a K. Buttermilk waffles, sweet maple syrup, and the tenderness of this chicken makes this the best chicken and waffles I've had so far. And let's not forget the butter grits that we got here. Let me remind you that Texas was once part of Mexico, so there is a heavy Mexican influence here in Houston, Texas. So let's transition into Latin American cuisine where we start off with Brothers Tacos, which has the best 
breakfast tacos that I've had so far. These tacos can go somewhere from like $1.50 to like $2 a taco, and there's always a line. During the week, they open up at 5 a.m. and they close at 3 p.m. On weekends, they open up at like 6 or 7 and they close at 1 p.m. So if you get there and it's 5.01 a.m., consider yourself late because these lines be packing up and they pack up fast. Here it is. It looks nice as bacon and egg with that Mexican cheddar. My crew and I were in the mood for some churros as well as some additional prefix tacos. So we transitioned into La Guadalapana, which is a Mexican run bakery that also has some really tasty organic juices. This is the Vampiro. It is a carrot, beet, and orange juice. Graphic tacos, 250. We got a La Mexicana, which is chorizo, tomatoes, potatoes, eggs, and yeah. We're now going into Plaza America's Mall, where this is where I got my haircut, y'all. There's a lot of Latin barbers up in here. It's funny, it's in Spanish first and then English. So this is a Mexican mall, maybe? Browsing this mall, I found this hot dog joint called Mega Dogs, where they have hot dog styles from many Latin American countries that I'm familiar with, especially Colombia. This is a free soda, it's a big hot dog. Uh, and the ice cream is $6 and the nachos is 7 Nachos has chili and cheese and you can add onions, tomatoes, everything we had on this side. The road ice cream was on point too. And keeping it Latin American, I found this Charles and Crepe spot and she hooked it up. Oh snap, Senora is putting the good stuff on it. All right, this is what we got, y'all. We got some churros. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not even in Mexico yet, and I'm having so much churros. Learn some Spanish, y'all, you get the hookups. All right, let's talk about pizza. We're going to Paul Behavior, which is a bar style place that actually has some good cuisine. I was put on this spot by my Houston friend who's always on the move, but now I had to come to this spot multiple times over. Man. I had this appetizer sampler, which is decent. It came with fried pickles, wings. If you've been watching my channel, you know I love wings. Calamari, onion rings, jalapeno poppers, and nachos. The pizza choices are on point too. You guys gotta get yourself a brick oven pizza. Trust me on this. And the drinks is on point too. That's why they call poor behavior, all right? But transitioning into beverages, we're gonna go into Luce's Coffee Roasters, and they are known to have some nice tasting coffee. I'm not a huge fan of coffee, but these guys prepared some good coffee. If you like creamy multi espresso stuff, consider stopping by here if you want yourself more than coffee. And I had a strawberry tea, which was slamming, man. I would come back straight here from New York, pay the fare just so I can get myself strawberry tea here and a coffee and I don't drink coffee but the way how they prepare the coffee is almost a work of art and this will be the spot I'll go back to whenever I want coffee I right, anime fans and video game lovers I didn't forget about you guys too let's go into Chinatown let me tell you something man this Chinatown is the most popping Chinatown I've been to in all the Chinatowns I've visited all right so this place that we're going to is called pop fancy dessert bar and at the time of me going and filming this video, they were actually launching an event. For those who are familiar with the game Genshin Impact, the store was themed after this video game. The menu items was also themed after the items within the game too. And I thought this was a cool feel. They also had a DJ going in, man. This place was crowded. And every time I tried to go here to try to get inside the store, there was a long line. So this is a place that you want to come to early whenever they launch events. And yo, check it out, man. The place is cool. It's very organized the way how I see it. Just a small shop and a lot of heads in the future. I think they need a bigger shop. Apparently Whataburger got like mad ketchups, bro. I didn't even know about this. So said, nah, we never had this before. We getting mad stuff, y'all. Whataburger, we like it because the ice cream machine works. They have malt. It tastes mad good, I'm telling you, man. I like this. 
McDonald's, you gotta step your game up, man. I'm telling you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, take it easy. And if you guys wanna see the top five things you must do when you're in Houston, Texas, click right here.